Welcome back to this lesson on supply chain as a profession. Upon completing this lesson, learners should be able to describe typical career roles, levels, and domains in supply chain, and recall the alignment of professional societies to supply chain domains. Supply chain management is a profession at the highest level, the titles associated with supply chain management include chief supply chain officers. And for organizations without a chief supply chain officer structure, titles such as chief purchasing officer or chief manufacturing officer or chief logistics officer, or even in very supply chain intense companies, the chief operating officer may serve as a de facto supply chain officer. Supporting the highest level executives are an array of vice presidents, directors, managers, supervisors, analysts, associates, etc., of the domains that make up the integrated supply chain concept, organization, and profession. The various domains, functions, and departments in supply chain have names such as these, many that you've heard mentioned a few times in the past lessons domains such as transportation, manufacturing, sourcing, etc. The titles may vary from company to company and industry to industry. It is interesting to note that I found that individuals maintain a career in the specific domain, uh, a specific domain, rather than switching positions from domain to, to domain. This is understandable considering the fact that each domain has a unique set of processes, data considerations, legal issues, and decisions to be made. So it may be difficult to one day be developing and optimizing route structures for a private fleet, and then the next day be capable of effectively designing the warehouse, as the skill set and considerations are quite different. There are a wide variety of national and local societies supporting both cross-supply chain school of thought and individual domain competency development. Many of them are listed here. Organizations like the Council of Supply Chain Management Professionals and APICS tend to be cross-supply chain in nature. The APICS organization recently merged with the Society of Transportation and Logistics, as well as merging with the Supply Chain Council. So APICS has morphed from an early beginnings as being focused on inventory and production planning to being a much broader organization. Other organizations such as WORK, GMA, RELA, etc., tend to be more industry specific or domain specific. Beyond the societies named here, there are dozens of additional societies or sub societies that address supply chain and logistics topics from a variety of technical or other niche angles, including local social societies. The national societies often have local chapters in cities um, with a significant supply chain activity. Most of the societies offer certifications in their area of focus. SC Pro is provided by CSCMP, CPIM and CSCP by APICS, etc. Let's take another look at the integrated supply chain model or molecule and point out that for essentially every arrow, icon, layer, or block in the model, there's at least one society geared toward developing professional standards, networking opportunities, and certifications in that space. In this lesson, we've learned that as a complex integrated system of processes, supply chain has a wide range of typically domain-specific career paths, professional societies, and certification programs. And Career levels and titles are fairly similar across supply chain domains. Thank you, and we will see you on the next lesson.